Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the UC Davis Aggies hosting the Eastern Washington Eagles on a Pac-10 matchup. Eagles are 4-4, four four. Aggies are 5-4 and four. with a win here today. They will become bowl eligible. So a huge game today versus the Eagles. Jakari Butler, pretty good quarterback for the Eagles. 14 touchdowns, 11 picks, but he has over 2,200 passing yards on the season. Marcus Ricks, 90 speed cornerback, two interceptions on the year, 36 tackles, four pass deflections. And their second wide receiver, Brian Warren, is actually suspended for this game. So they will be without their number two target. Take a look at their schedule. They beat Wofford to start things off on the year. Then they lost to Western Carolina. Won two straight, including a win over Northern Colorado with a walk-off kick return for a touchdown. And San Diego thumped them 27-7. Er, and they beat Northern Arizona. Lost to Portland State, who has had a few upsets this season. And Southern Utah beat the Eagles as well. And here we are today. Aggies, Eagles. I got the Eagles winning this one. I think they're due for another victory over one of our schools. But I'll see you guys down the field here in a moment. Hi, everybody. We're here with Lee Corso Herb Street bringing you today's show. We're going to enjoy great weather game as the skies are clear. The sure is just right for the Eastern Washington and the Aggies. These two Penn teams are fired up, ready to go in this late season battle. And here come the Aggies. If you compare these teams on paper, they could be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? The home team is up pretty well in this one, but I'll tell you what. They're going to have a hard time defending the passing game in this quarterback. Look for him to pick apart this secondary and have a big jump. I hate to say it, you're wrong. I really, these guys are going to... Well, folks, we'll find out if you're right or not. Let's take it down to the field where today's captains are ready for the coin toss. So me and Kirk are going with the Eagles today. Lee Corso picks the Aggies. Butler left side. He's picked off instantly by Trey Henry III. And that's going to be his seventh interception on the season. So already, Lee Corso looking like the smart man today. And not me and Kirk. Owen Black on offense. Third down, though, already. Black's going to roll out right side. Take off the lefty. Still going. And his momentum carried him out of bounds at around the 21-yard line. Now third and goal from the 10. Black rolling out, throws to the end zone, deflected away in double coverage. And the Aggies are going to have to settle for a field goal attempt. And their fans are not happy right now. 27-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it is good. So the Aggies take a 3-0 lead here in the first quarter. Butler, play action. He is sacked already. Defense is swarming. That was actually Tyreek Taylor, the halfback, playing some linebacker out there. Second down and 15. Butler is going to throw that to no one. There's pass interference, though, on the defense. That was called on Turner. So instead of third and 15, it's now first and 10. Butler, play action again. Wide open is Garrett, outrunning everybody except for Jaquan Brown at the 25-yard line. Gets taken down. Second down and 10. Butler, left side. Thompson has an 8-yard reception. Nice uh, catch out of the backfield. Third down and 2. Butler, play action, sacked again. My goodness, this defense is swarming today. That was Elijah Christian, his second sack on the season. And that'll bring up fourth down. Just absolutely destroyed him. Eagles miss a field goal, so it remains 3-0. Aggies on top, here is Lito Lozano. Left side, breaks loose, past the 50, breaks a tackle. And taken out of bounds at the 48-yard line. He's closing in on 1,000 yards rushing this season. Here is Jaquan Brown wide open over the middle at the 31-yard line. His 13th reception on the year. Black over the middle to Lee to the 11-yard line. First down, Aggies. Black throwing it quite well today. Third down and five. Black taking off right side. He's going to walk in for an easy touchdown run. That is his 15th rushing touchdown this season. And he's closing in on 800 rushing yards for the year as well. Second and 10 here for the Eagles. Right side is Jackson. And he's got the first down. Third down and 11 though. Butler, deep shot, right side. And he connects with Jones. And Jones is going to take this all the way for the score in double coverage between Trey Henry III and Jaquan Brown, the receiver out there playing some cornerback. Unbelievable play. 
as Trey Henry III left his feet. 10-7 is the score. Aggies back on offense. Nice block on the outside by Gatlin. Springs Lozano loose past midfield. The 40, the 30, and down at the 28-yard line. Fantastic blocking by Sam Gatlin to spring him free. Black on the option, right side. He still has it, pitches out late. Lito Lozano, first down, 11-yard pickup. And he is well over 1,000 yards rushing on the season now. Black off his back foot, connects with Gatlin, close to the marker. Four consecutive completions, they give him the first down. Black on the option again, he's gonna walk in for another touchdown today, his second, and his 16th rushing touchdown of the season. He has seven more touchdown runs than his running back, Lito Lozano. Deep shot downfield, wide open, is done. He beats the cornerback, and he finds the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. So they strike back quickly and make it a one-score game yet again. If you're looking to be a player, you're going to want to be in the secondary for the Aggies. They need a lot of help. First and 10, 17-14 is the score. Black going to throw it, rolling out left side, leaves wide open at the 41, and he fumbles the football. It is recovered by Jaquan Brown, who advances it to the 49-yard line. Five consecutive completions, but the Aggies' drive ended right there. Third and three for the Eagles. Butler, over the middle, caught by Dunn, and gets first down at the 48-yard line. 114 yards receiving for him in the first half. Third and ten, Butler, a quick pass right side, and that's incomplete and the Aggies will get the ball back on offense again here in the second half. 17-14 is the score. Aggies on offense now to start things off. One turnover there in the first half for the Eagles, and that's it. Black on the option all the way up to the 46-yard line. He is fantastic on the run. Over 800 yards rushing on the season now. Nice block by Tyreek Taylor. Lozano gets the pitch, breaks another tackle, and still going, fighting to the 41-yard line. Play action from Black, rolling out, taking his time, throws it deep and it's picked off by Ricks, he breaks the tackle, that was Lee who got the missed tackle, and Black can't push him out of bounds, Rick stays in bounds and he's going to take this all the way for a pick six, what a play, unbelievable effort by the cornerback, one of the best plays you'll see all season, just runs right through Lee. Thought for sure that Owen Black was going to push him out of bounds right there. But great footwork. And you're not going to catch him. 90 speed cornerback. Third and 13 now for the Aggies. They're down four points. Black takes another deep shot. That's Tyreek Taylor. He's got it inside the 25-yard line. First down, UC Davis. Now third and four. Play action from Black. He's going to be sacked. That was not a good play call. The defense swarmed him instantly. Fourth and seven. They're going to have to send on the field goal unit again. And the kick is up, and that is good. So it's 21 to 20. Eagles still on top. Me and Kirk Herbstreet looking like the smart picks right now. Lee Corso down by one point. Nice completion out to Dunn, who's having a great game so far. Almost 150 yards receiving. Right side wide open is Garrett. Trey Henry the third tracks him down at the 39-yard line, and the Eagles continue to march down the field. Butler, play action, deep shot, caught by Jones, he's loose, and inside the 10-yard line. A lot of completions today in between double coverage, and it's a fantastic throw and great concentration by the receiver to catch that pass. First and goal from the 7-yard line, play action, Butler to the end zone, is picked off by Zachary Hyde, not a good throw, that is Hyde's uh, third interception on the season, and that was a big-time play made by a big-time player. The Aggies were going to start this offensive drive from their own seven-yard line. So take a look at that awful throw yet again. Just didn't have a whole lot of power. Third down for the Aggies. Black rolling out, throwing deep, and that's caught by Sam Gatlin. Clutch catch at the 37-yard line. That is his 25th reception on the season. Now has over 600 yards receiving for the year. Black over the middle and somehow completes it to Jaquan Brown. Oh my goodness, talk about threading the needle for that first down. That looked like two defensive players could have had their hands on it. Second down and 10, fourth quarter. Tyreek Taylor gets a carry. He's going to fumble the football. And it's scooped up by two. Yasusopo, the defensive end. Owen Black looking slow. He's not going to get him. And that is going to be a touchdown for the Eagles. What in the world just happened? 
Tyreek Taylor gets one of his first few carries of the game. Puts it on the turf. Tuiasa Sopo returns it 78 yards for a score. And just like that, it's 28-20. When the Aggies looked like they were about to take the lead. Black over the middle again. Jaquan Brown at midfield. First down. Jaquan Brown over 100 yards receiving today. Fourth down, though, for the Aggies. This could be for the game. Deep shot over the middle, and it's caught by Francis for the first down inside the 15-yard line. Now second and seven. Black's going to take it on the option, and he will walk in for another easy touchdown. Run his 17th on the year. Ken O'Brien, head coach, wants to go for two points to tie this thing up. And they will from the three-yard line. Owen Black, play action, or pump fake's going to throw it. McKinley has it, and he holds on. And this game is all knotted up at 28 apiece with just two minutes remaining. Gonna come down to an exciting finish. Second down and 10 for the Eagles. Butler is gonna fumble the football. It's recovered by the offense though. That'll make it third and 17. Butler gonna try to throw it again. He's got a man open, that's Jackson, and he is short of the first down. It'll be fourth and three. Eagles have to punt it away. Aggies with the ball. Black takes off, first down and more still going. Gets out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Stopping the clock. Black going to try to throw it again. Rolling out. He's got Lee wide open. He chucks it up to Taylor or Brown instead. That's a first down inside the 40-yard line. Owen Black, 334 total yards today. Three rushing touchdowns. 37 seconds remain. Now 30 seconds. Black rolling up. And he finds Lee wide open inside the 15-yard line. And they are going to have to send on the field goal unit now. After this play right here, Owen Black takes a shot, and that's, oh my goodness, Jaquan Brown of the two-yard line. They have no timeouts left. They have to go no huddle here to spike the football. And Sam Gatlin is just lollygagging the line of scrimmage. Black takes a snap, and he spikes it with one second remaining. My goodness, cutting it close. They send on the field goal unit for the win. And the kick is up, and it is good. Your UC Davis Aggies are now bowl eligible in year one of our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. An exciting victory. They are 6-4 on the year. Eagles can still make a bowl game. They're 4-5, but they got to win at least two more games. Six is the goal. So Owen Black, no touchdown passes today. He did throw a, a pick six. He had three touchdown runs. Other than that interception, he played exceptionally well throwing the football today. Lozano goes for over 100 yards. Black with three rushing touchdowns. Gives him 17 on the year. Drew T on the beat. Tyreek Taylor. You think he had a couple carries and a fumble that was returned for a touchdown. 528 yards of offense today for the Aggies. Negative 22 rushing yards for the Eagles. The defensive line for UC Davis is just phenomenal. Caleb Chubb, Demarcus Webb, and Andrew Jackson. You, it's really hard to get past those guys. 18 minutes of time of possession for the Aggies. Controlling the game. And the game-winning field goal from Golden. 20-yarder as time expired. Owen Black, 15-27. 294 yards. One interception. Sacked three times today. Aggies also need offensive line help, guys. They have nobody on the O-line as far as subscribers. Longest pass of 48 today, Lito Lozano, a buck 42, no touchdowns. Owen Black, 76 yards, three touchdowns. He's now over 800 rushing yards on the year. Tyreek Taylor, five carries, nine yards, and a fumble that was returned for six. Six broken tackles for Lozano. Jaquan Brown, 96 yards. I thought he had 100 yards today, it was really close. Still one of his best performances this season. He only had 245 yards coming into this game. He had a drop, so did Gatlin. Two sacks allowed for the other Allen Davidson. Remember, we have a cornerback on the Jacksonville Dolphins named Allen Davidson. No relation. Just some computer-generated name. Defense played outstanding. They were only on the field for, what, six minutes the whole game. Three sacks. Marcus Webb, Tyreek Taylor, Elijah Christian. That was Webb's third sack on the season. Elijah Christian got his second, and Tyreek Taylor, I believe, got his second as well. Forced fumble today for Demarcus Webb, first of his career. Tyrell Golden, 3 of 3 kicking, the game winner as well. 
He also had a 52-yard punt. Nothing special on returns today. So nothing special about special teams. That's it for this game. Players of the game, Tui Asasopo, Ricks, and Workman. And Black, Golden, and Webb for the Aggies. They improved to 6-4. and four. Their next game, they'll be hosting the Northern Arizona Lumberjacks. And that is going to be a Week 12 matchup. And then after that, a subscriber versus subscriber game against the Thunderbirds, who have a game tomorrow against Northern Colorado. They need one more win to become bowl eligible. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.